before we start all this information came from the developer diary on Tuesday September 13th. I take the information, make it easier to understand and upload it to YouTube so that more people will know what will be in the new DLC. Tech. What changed? Well, I would like to tell more about the DLC, by blood alone. Old Platform's Retirement Plan Like the future, technology is always in motion. As new platforms arise, olders need to be taken behind the barn and put down. Despite the release of Windows 11, Paradox have not elected to make a push to Windows 10 since Microsoft's support for new tech on older releases is still fairly good. The same cannot be said for Mac and Linux, sadly. And so, starting the new 1.12.0 release, the minimum OS versions will be Mac OS 10.14, Mojave, and Ubuntu 20.04 LTS, Focal Fossa. You will still be able to play older Hoi versions on older operating systems by rolling back to previous branches, but Avalanche will refuse to start. Those updates are done in order to introduce new tech to Paradox new games, not just Hoi 4. New Defaults the first time you start the Paradox Launcher on Avalanche, the game will perform a one-time upgrade of your settings from DirectX 9 to DirectX 11. New installations will also default to DirectX 11. Visually the game should look absolutely the same, but internally the tools that come with DirectX 11 have helped Paradox find a few sneaky graphical bugs that will be fixed in Avalanche. Performance Improvements the biggest improvement has been made to the map icons rendering, unit counters, factories, supply hubs, you name it. The number of icons potentially displayed on the map had grown a lot since Hoy's release six years ago and the historical algorithm wasn't cutting it anymore. For example, here are what the FPS and frame time look like on Avalanche on, i7700, NVIDIA GTX 1060, VSYNC off and 150 frames per second cap. This is Avalanche default zoom. And this is full zoomed out. Finally zoomed back in, but with speed 5. Contrast those numbers with the ones from the current live build, Barbarossa 1.11.13. Note that Barbarossa denotes rendering performance in render time rather than frame time, which is only the GPU part, while Avalanche counts both CPU and GPU rendering time, so the numbers look different. Here are some tips and tricks on how to improve the game speed, from Paradox. Consider disabling VSync in your graphics settings, unless you have a high refresh rate monitor. The way the game simulation waits for rendering to be done to continue, with a slow refresh rate your CPU might end up spending precious time waiting on your monitor VSync which is not ideal. This root of the issue is difficult to address on Hoi 4 especially with DirectX 9, but with DirectX 11 becoming the default we will see if there is a way we can address this in the future. No promises though. That's all about tech.